Today's episode why is hemophilia and color blindness more common in males rather than in females Now here comes the learning outcomes of today's lesson So what are the learning outcomes First we should be studying about the sex linked characters and then comes the sex linked inheritance we will also know what is criss cross inheritance or x linked inheritance and last but not the least we will also learn a little bit about the y linked gene okay is it clear so we will cover this five topics sex linked characters sex linked inheritance criss cross inheritance x linked inheritance and y linked gene so let us start with sex linked characters now let us now start about what is sex linked inheritance now generally we all know that sexual characters are located on sex chromosomes but there are some genes of characteristics which are not related to sex of an organism they are also located on sex chromosomes so what are these characters called they are generally called sex linked characters because their inheritance is sex linked now inheritance of non sexual characteristics or traits due to the presence of an allele on sex chromosome is called sex linked inheritance so what is happening here these are non sexual characters these are present on sex chromosomes the alleles are present on sex chromosomes and they are inherited generation after generation so non sexual characters which are on the sex chromosome being inherited generation after generation are called sex linked inheritance now these characters may be present on either x chromosome or they may be present on y chromosome so did you get it clear dear so dear students please try to understand this thing because in future you will be having not only questions you will be solving several problems several uh, uh, heredity problems will be given to you to solve this sex linked inheritance now there are several diseases we will be talking about in the coming slides now till now if it is not clear please do ask me in my uh, comment box and if you have not yet studied my videos i am putting the link up please go through it and please try to read each and every slide each and every video which i am posting and it is according to 10th icsc curriculum if you are not getting any point please don't even don't uh, just uh, leave it please do ask me and please to subscribe to my channel so that you can get the updates in your uh, inbox whenever i am posting it so let us continue with this lesson now in this slide another term we will be uh, introducing to you is a new term called criss cross inheritance so what is it as the name suggests criss cross so this criss cross type of inheritance is the inheritance of the sex linked characters so what are sex linked characters as discussed in the previous slide these are the characters which are present on sex chromosome but are not related to the sexual development of a person these are non sexual characters which are present on the sex chromosomes and these characters are transmitted from fathers to their daughters and from mothers to their son so it is going in a criss cross way so from fathers to daughters and from mothers to son so the common example is x linked inheritance about this only we will be studying in detail in this slides so what is hemophilia c this is an x linked disorder showing this type of inheritance so this type of inheritance refers to this criss cross inheritance so is it clear to everyone if it is not clear just go through it once it is a type of inheritance where the sex linked characters are transferred from generation to generation from fathers to daughters and from mothers to son suppose one uh, tra one character is uh, transmitted from father to daughter so in the next generation the daughters will 
uh, pass it on to their sons not to their daughters and thus it will continue in generations after generation so like in hemophilia c which is an x linked disorder showing the x linked inheritance now let us see some pictorial representation of this x linked inheritance in our next few slides so that we will get our uh, this sex linked inheritance topic very much clear so that from next time we should not be puzzled what is happening here how is the gene being carried to next generation whether the daughters will be affected or only the sons will be affected so we will see the pictorial representation here comes a pictorial representation of a slide in of x linked inheritance now this x linked inheritance is a recessive inheritance now let us see what is happening here now father is having a condition any disease condition let us uh, think so so dad is having the condition so x chromosome in a male person is a non working and here y chromosome in male is always working we know that and mom does not have that condition so what is happening when these gametes are crossed so this x comes from mother and this y comes from father so this child is normal having no such condition as a father again y is coming from father and normal x is coming from mother so father was having this x linked condition in the x chromosome if father was having that in y chromosome it would have been carried into the next generation either as a recessive or as a dominant condition but here it is present in the x chromosome which we know for a male it is a non working gene so it will not affect any one of the kids now say the daughter is born having one x chromosome from father which is the affected one and another from mother but they do not have the condition though they are carriers they are having two x chromosomes but as x is a recessive condition so they are not having that as a dominant condition they are carriers they will not have in a working gene now next comes another x chromosome from mother and another x chromosome from father so this is also a carrier which do not have the condition but all the daughters here will become carriers now this is how the x linked recessive inheritance continues in generation so father is having the condition and it is in the x chromosome which is a non working gene mostly so it is a recessive inheritance so it is carried in generation where they are carriers but they are not the uh, diseased person or the diseased daughters so let us see what is there in the next slide now here comes some few more patterns of inheritance on x link dominant as well as this is affected mother and here is x link dominant where the father is affected so how these are carried to generations after generation let us see the first generation at least to understand this how it is being carried from one x to the next one so here you can see the father is a not a diseased person it is unaffected father and the mother is affected so it is in the x chromosome of mother while the x chromosome of father is normal so when they are crossed when crossing over is done what is happening this this x is coming and this y is coming so what is happening the son is unaffected now from mother this x is coming and from father one x is coming so daughter is affected because mother's x chromosome which is affected has come to this daughter now next the son is carrying mother's affected chromosome and father's y chromosome so mother's affected chromosome carries that disease to the son also it is a dominant thing so it is not a recessive character in mother so as she is dominant having this disease it is carried to one son and one daughter whereas when one uh, x chromosome which was not affected in mother also comes to this daughter and father's normal also chromosome comes to this 
So this xx daughter is unaffected and this xxy son is also not affected. Whereas this two middle daughter and son who are getting the dominant X chromosome from mother are affected in this condition. So this is X link dominant which is coming from mother. Now let us move on to similar kind of thing which is coming from father which is also X link dominant but here it is coming from the father's X chromosome. Now father's X chromosome will always be affecting the daughter's. Will it ever affect the son? No, because the son will get their only X chromosome from mothers. They will get their Y chromosomes from father. So the son, both the sons here will be unaffected. So as they are getting the normal Y chromosome from father and normal X chromosome from mother. Here the mother is not affected. Now next comes the daughters. The daughters will be getting one X chromosome from father and one X chromosome normal from mother. But here both daughters will be affected because that one chromosome which they are getting from father is dominantly affected. Is it clear to everyone? If you are not clear in this phase, ask me questions in the comment box so that I can fulfill your answers or queries. Now let us move on to the next slide. Now, here in this slide, we will be discussing about the inheritance of color blindness. Now, this we are telling or we are rather claiming that it is mainly uh, present in males and not in females as a dominant character. So, how is it happening? So, suppose a normal mother is being crossed with a color blind father. Now, this is XX and this is XY. So, here it is X linked uh, inheritance. So, the X chromosome of the male person is also affected, color by blind person. Now what is happening? Now in the first generation we can see that uh, the sons are also normal but the daughter is a courier. Now next generation, next to next generation we can see that it is carried to the male uh, progeny. So 50% are normal, one daughter, one son is normal and we can see that another daughter is a carrier of defective alleles and one son is color blind. So there is 50% progeny which is normal. One daughter is 25% of the progeny is carrier and one son that is 25% of the other progeny is color blind. So how is it happening? If you see a Punnett square, now if XX and X, uh, what we are telling that XY is a uh, colorblind father, so it will come like this. So here this colorblind uh, father in the first generation, all are, the daughter is a courier and the son is a normal. So after this courier is being crossed with a normal male, so this is happening in the next generation. So this here we can see that the affected one is a male child, not the female. The female will be always the courier. Okay, because they are having two X chromosomes where this X chromosome will be uh, uh, acting as a courier gene. It will not uh, act as a dominant gene. Here are some plates to test the color blindness. Now, this I have already shown uh, in your lessons when I have taught you about color blindness in the lesson of eye, sense organs. Now, if you have not gone through those lessons where I have uh, posted the color blindness test, Snell's ch test charts. So, this is red color blindness. Those who are ab not able to distinguish between red and green, uh, those uh, students also you can test this. If you are able to distinguish what are the numbers written inside it clearly, uh, so you are having a normal vision. If you are unable to distinguish between the, uh, this green and the red or orange or other colors and if you are not able to uh, read out the numbers clearly, then might be you are having a problem of color vision. So you are a color blind person. So this is I have taught you in um, sense organ eyes, color blindness part. So this I just wanted to show you the Snell's chart which uh, proves that a person is 
color blind because they don't understand the combination of red and black uh, orange and green so this is a type of color blindness now let us move on to the next slide now here we will see the inheritance of hemophilia how it is carried from one generation to another so let us see father does not have hemophilia so xy chromosome they are normal they are not having any diseased condition but mother is a patient of hemophilia or one x chromosome is carrying the hemophilia gene so how it is carried in generations after generation we can see that one boy the first boy is having xy which is normal he is not uh, having hemophilia the second boy which is carrying the diseased uh, chromosome or gene hemophilia gene from mother's x chromosome will be having hemophilia the next daughter is ha uh, not having hemophilia and the other daughter is having a chance 50% chance as a career because she is having one diseased chromosome from mother and one normal chromosome from father so 50% sons will have hemophilia and 50% chance of the daughters to be a carrier of hemophilia they will not carry the hemophilia gene but they will be the carrier of hemophilia so this is how hemophilia is carried from one generation to another so we can see the signs or symbols which are used here this half green and half white is a carrier of hemophilia gene this full green is a person who is having hemophilia and this uh, only outlined green part which does not have hemophilia so is it clear to everyone so 50% of the chance uh, of the sons without hemophilia 50% of the sons will have hemophilia and 50% of the daughters will be carriers and other 50% will be normal so next let us see the same type of thing we have uh, shown here where the mother is normal and the father is having hemophilia so father's x chromosome is affected so it is affecting the daughters and these daughters are carriers but both the sons will be normal so both the daughters are carriers as they are getting the affected chromosome from mother but the normal x chromosome from father and though the daughters are being carriers the sons will always be normal because as the father is not having the the that uh, hemophilic gene in y chromosome the y gene is normal so their xy and xy will be normal so as it is a x linked inheritance and that x chromosome of father is affected it will go to pass on to the daughters only here not to the sons so we can see this clear picture i think i have explained you in many pictures about this inheritance of hemophilia and color blindness i think it should be clear to you all now let us see what is there in the next slide here comes the last slide or the last topic y link gene so here what is happening here the affected uh, the affected chromosome is present in the y chromosome of the father so it is quite clear that if it is affected chromosome is present in the uh, affected gene rather is ex, uh, present in the y chromosome it will be expressed to the male child only so uh, a major example of this is hairy pinna if the father is having a hairy pinna it will pass on to all the sons but the female can't be the carrier of this gene also because the y chromosome is passed on to only the uh, male person or the son so all the sons in that generation will be affected and it is always passed on from father to son so this y linked inheritance is rather very easy uh, to determine whether it will be passing on to son or daughter there is no confusion in this it is very easy that if it is having a hairy pinna in father they will pass on to the sons only and all the sons in those generation and the next generation will have a hairy pinna so it is a gene which is expressed only from father to son so this is a y linked gene so i think you are all clear with the sex linked inheritance whether it is x linked dominant or it is x linked recessive 
or it is a wild linked inheritance so we have discussed about color blindness about hemophilia so how it passes on from generation to generation i hope you all are quite clear with this please go through your textbook whatever queries and doubts you are having ask me and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to put like and share to my videos so that your friends can also get the benefit from my videos thank you